Before comparing the two aircraft, here's a quick history lesson. In 1988, Air France became the first Airbus customer to fly the A320. Because of its versatility, the A320 family aircraft operate on every continent, and it is the most popular option for low-cost carriers to full-service airlines. The A320 is capable of transporting passengers almost anywhere, from short runway urban environments to remote high-altitude airports. The Airbus A320 is one of the leading aircraft for a variety of reasons, one of which is the widespread acceptance of advanced solutions. Airbus currently sells two models of the A320, the original A320 CEO and the A320 NEO. The CEO stands for the current engine option, and the NEO stands for the new engine option. The A320 NEO was introduced by Airbus on 1 December 2010. After that, it was introduced to the first customer Lufthansa in 2016 and went into operation. The original A320 is called as A320 CEO. The A320 NEO integrated many many technical advances, which made possible by Airbus's ongoing dedication and investment in the world's most innovative aircraft family. What exactly are these aircraft advancements? The NEO refers to the new engine option, which is a significant upgrade to the aircraft. It was designed to add value to the airline by being more fuel efficient, noise reduction, and able to travel further distances. A320 CEO has two engine options, the CFM 565V or the IAE V2500A5 engine. Airbus claims that the update will help keep the A320 model line as the world's most advanced and fuel-efficient single-aisle aircraft family. The A320 NEO jetliner comes with two new generation engines, the PurePower PW1100G from Pratt & Whitney and CFM's Leap 1A. The new engine consumes less fuel and can hold more fuel for longer flight. The Airbus A320neo was introduced with exterior modifications to improve the aircraft's durability. Initially, Airbus planes had small triangle wingtips, which were usable but it added drag. In order to increase the performance of the neo, the aircraft manufacturer added a large curved wingtip known as a sharklet. Although the sharklets had 200 kg weight to the aircraft, but the wing area got increased, which helped aircraft to give more lift. Overall, it reduced fuel burn by up to 4%. The NEO, on the other hand, lacks the latest and greatest in aviation technologies, such as the fuse large, which is made up of conventional aluminium, rather than a composite materials, like carbon fiber, which is lighter and burns less fuel. Airbus has redesigned the aircraft cabins, installing new seating that is more comfortable for passengers. It includes improved pressurization, more luggage space, noise reduction, LED lighting, and new seating design for improved passenger comfort. Since the A320 has a maximum capacity of 195 passengers, the NEO flies 100 km farther than the CEO. The A320 has a carrying capacity of 20 tons and a fuel capacity of over 7,000 US gallons. The A320 is a very popular plane, the original A320 received 8,127 orders, while the NEO has received 7,372 orders so far. Overall, the A320neo is a worthy replacement, and the NEO program will undoubtedly fuel the A320 family for the coming years. However, what kind of aircraft will Airbus use to replace the A320? The only way to know is to wait and see. Do you think the NEO is a sufficient upgrade? Please let us know in the comments section below. If you liked our video please subscribe to our channel.